and welcome to another episode of the Theater Professor Vidcast. My name is Terry Dana Jakimak II, and I am the Theater Professor. Today we're going to be looking at Adobe Photoshop Touch. Touch. Ah, I touched me. Adobe Photoshop Touch is an older program. It's not part of the Creative Cloud suite of apps that came out just recently. It's actually, I've actually had it on my iPad now for a little over a year. And it really is a photo manipulation program. It's not an art app, but I felt like it was something that people would like to use, especially if they do mixed media or like to mix media that or do, do photography stuff. I like photography. It's lots of fun to do. And if you like photography, you can come with me. That was horrible. If you haven't done so already, please stop by www.thetheaterprofessor.com and join our bronze membership level, which is completely free. I like free stuff. I'm a big fan of free. Freedom! All right, so this week we are looking at Adobe Photoshop Touch. And this is, uh, this is I'm, I'm varying away a little bit from art apps and jumping into a photo manipulation app, uh, though not quite like Instagram or anything like that. Adobe Photoshop Touch is really the iPad version of Adobe Photoshop. Now understand, you know, it being an iPad version, it doesn't have quite the same strength that a desktop version has. I mean, you're running on an iPad, which is much, much less uh, powerful than a desktop computer. But what it can do is still pretty amazing. I sit here and I still think about this. I'm doing this on a tablet in my hands, sitting on a couch sometimes, where, you know, 15, 20 years ago, the very idea of that would have blown me away. So this is exciting. This is Adobe Photoshop Touch. You can see I've opened up to the essentially what is the gallery of things here. And you can see there's a tutorials and an intro that comes with it. We're not going to go into those. If you get the app, you are more than welcome to go through those. Check them out. That's awesome. All right. So let's look here. Let's uh, let's let's tap something. Now, understand, this is not the tutorial I was going to do this week. I was actually going to do another app, but that app started giving me fits. So we moved on to something else. So bear with me as I try and remember everything that goes into using this. I do use this from time to time, though you'll see there's far fewer pictures here than usual, but I have used it more than what you're seeing here. All right, up top we have the general menu elements. The first one there is, you know, you save to camera roll, you can share, copy to iTunes. Your second one, you can actually put folders in here, which is kind of nice. So if you're doing multiple projects for, for different things, you can set up a, a, a hierarchy, which I think is, is really helpful. Your third one there is, I'm going to, oops, that's not what I meant to do. Let's go back out. Third one there is, yes, duplicate. And then you can pick which projects you want to duplicate. The fourth one obviously is trash. And our fifth one is our settings. And you'll see here that uh, I do have an account with Creative Cloud. So there's my account. You can go into general and there's some things in there you can mess around with. There's image import. You can actually adjust the size of your image import. Yeah, I'm on the largest that you can uh, import it as. Facebook. Oh, yeah, Facebook. Stylus. Uh, I'm using, you know, the, the Jot Touch, so you can see mine's set up for that. Privacy policy, because everybody needs a privacy policy. My privacy policy is, uh, I, I don't have one. I, <laughs> I tried to think of something witty. Don't judge. Then we have our help button, which... I constantly need help, and then our about, and we're going to close out of that. So a general menu there. On the bottom, you'll see we have two things, a plus and a picture plus. So you have your plus, so one plus one, or one picture plus plus one. I'm done trying to be funny today because it is not working. <laughs> Cheesy jokes 101. All right, let's go ahead and let's import a picture. Do do do. And it gives us our local photos, our creative cloud, our camera. You can actually import from Google, which is interesting. And you can import from Facebook. These are my Facebook photos. Interesting, huh? So we could go into like high school pics. Oh my gosh. 
I'm so young there. Or let's go into let's let's what is untitled album? <laughs> That's John Gresh. Uh, let's go into something simple like cover photos. Those are all the cover photos I have. Okay, let's go into sketches photo. I'm failing miserably here and trying to find something interesting. Oh, here we go. Mobile uploads. Okay. Oh, here we go. This is me at a conference last year. And this is what we're going to edit. I'm showing one of my styluses there. In fact, this was a this was a workshop that dealt with uh, that dealt with um, a digital drawing. So lovely. All right, here we go. And you can see that the basic setup. I'm going to hit that button there. Basic setup looks similar to Photoshop, not the same. Obviously, again, we're on an iPad, so it's geared toward touch a little bit and geared and geared a little smaller. On our left-hand side, we have a variety of menu options. You have your paintbrush, you have your select tool, and each time you press it, it'll give you more options. Uh, I'm sorry, paintbrush isn't first. The top one is the one that you're currently in. So I'm currently, for example, in select tool. You have lasso tool, your magic wand tool, brush tool. And if you hold down, notice how I'm holding down, you may get more options for each of them. So our marquee selection has square and oval. Uh, we have a lasso selection and then a polygon lasso. We have magic wand along with a couple of other things. Paint tools, clone stamp stuff, eraser tool, healing brush, blur tool, and a smudge tool. But, oh, okay. So those are all of our tools on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side is our layers palette. I love that everybody likes to put the layers palette on the right-hand side. Makes it easy to remember. And then across the top, we have a variety of things. Our leftmost button, that arrow pointing to the left, that takes you back to the gallery. You can add a picture. This third one here gives you cut, copy, copy, merged, a whole variety of things there. Our fourth one deals with our selection stuff. Now, if, yeah. So you can see, you can select all, select pixels, feather, all that good stuff. And then when we move across, we have our transform tool, which I don't want to do, so I'm going to hit the X. You have adjustments, you have effects, you have a variety of other things, fill stroke, text, warp, rotate. And then finally, you can work like this. See, oh no, I've just totally messed up my picture. Then you can go back here and you can undo, and your undos are in your bottom left-hand side there, so we'll undo that. So why am I bringing up this tool? Well, this tool allows you, if you do any type of collage or mixed media, will allow you to do a lot of different things. Now I'm gonna do, this is a very rough overview. This actually could be a much larger class slash tutorial series. I may have to think about that, um, but, but I'm just gonna try and hit on some of the ba basics. Let's start with the selection tool. Okay, it works just like Anywhere else, there's a selection, and you can do things with the selection. Sorry, I'm zooming in and out. You can deselect, you can select pixels, inverse. Um, now I've selected the outside, that's what the inverse does. You can transform, so this, so if we do this, I'm transforming my selection. So this will be the area that I select, this little box around me. Okay, so you can transform your selection. And you can even refine the edge if you want to. So essentially paint it out. And when you do it, notice how it gives you a soft edge. Watch. Boom. Okay. And let's hit check on that. And then we're just going to do something to see... See... And then, you know, you can do other things if you want. For example, you come over here. Oops, that's not what I wanted. See, that's what I'm telling you. I apologize because I'm going to do those silly mistakes every now and then. Um, there we go. We could cut. And look, I look ridiculous now because my hand is floating above my head. And then we could deselect everything. There we go. And then maybe add a layer. I'm going to add an empty layer, right? 
and I'm going to grab my fill tool, which that is not the fill tool, Terry. Fill stroke. Change our co oh, actually, let's do uh, actually let's do clouds. There we go. And check. There we go. Now there's a box of me with an explosion around me. <laughs> and the best part about it is I can just undo everything. Okay. All right. So that's the selection tool. Um, there are other things you can do with selection. So, for example, I take that selection. If I hit on the left hand side the plus button, I can add to my selection. Or if I hit the negative, I can subtract from my selection. Okay, you can adjust the corners. You you could have like now it's a circle, but you could there we go. Okay, so you can adjust your corners. You can adjust your anti-aliasing, all of that stuff with your selection tool. All right. Again, you have a lat. Let me deselect. You have a lasso, and this lasso is actually where I think it becomes a little better because if you have a stylus, you can actually do a pretty decent job doing a selection right along somebody. And then if you zoom way in, you can add and subtract. So say I don't want that selected. I don't want this area selected. I don't want, I want it right up against the shirt here. Boom. Okay. Then we'll add a new layer, em empty layer. I do that a lot. And then what we'll do is we will fill it with noise. Oh, it's so noisy. And then click check mark. Okay. So I like the lasso tool. I think it's really nice. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got the polygon lasso, which essentially lets you do polygons. Okay. Let me deselect this. And you can see there did a polygon. Let's see what else. We got Magic Wand. Of course, Magic Wand. We all know the Magic Wand. It selects base. Oh, deselect everything again. And let's get onto the right layer. There we go. And the Magic Wand selects based on color. So there I got that certain red. And you can adjust its tolerance. Right now it's at 50. What else we got here in the magic wand? We also have, oh, this one. Let me deselect. Yeah, okay. So essentially what's happening here, let me deselect again. So what this is, this is a quick selection tool. You have a brush selection tool and you have a scribble selection tool. I want to go to the scribble selection tool. Okay, so the way the scribble selection tool works right now, you can see on the left hand side it says keep or remove. We're on the keep right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in here. And I'm, I'm trying to just get myself. Sorry, I got silent there, didn't I? Continue looking. Notice how I'm not going all the way to the edge. I'm just kind of trying to follow my outline roughly. Okay. And then we'll click the remove. And essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to do the outside of me. Oops. And I picked up too soon. So I'm going to undo. And I did it again. What I should have done is started over here. There we go. And look how close that picked me up, right? So if we zoom in, we'll notice there are some discrepancies here. And what we can do is we switch over to keep. I'm zooming way in now. And notice when you're zoomed in, it becomes smaller. There, I just picked up what I needed. So you can really isolate things with this keep with this um with this tool. Here's a so we want to remove 
that area right there. Look at that. Look at that. And then what I can do is I can cut me, I'm not really cut me, but cut me from this, add a new layer. We'll turn off the initial layer. And then we can paste me back in. And boom, there I am. Whoop, there I am. Now you notice, you know, there's some things that I'd have to go back in and adjust, right? So there we go. So that's what that tool is. Again, that's the scribble selection tool. It's awesome. It really, truly is awesome. Our next one is we have our paint tool, our effects paint tool, and our spray tool. If we grab spray, you'll see it's like a spray paint, right? Big whoop de doo If we grab our brush, bugger. Ugh. If we grab or just paint, you'll see it's like a paint brush, right? You can adjust your brush as as you can see here. You can I mean look at that. I can do all sorts of fun things. And there's all different types of brushes. You your stylus pressure can control size or opacity. Why don't we grab this one right here? Go right there, there we go. So now I've got this going on, okay? It's not quite, again, it's not quite as strong as the desktop version, but it works okay. Our effects tool, and you can pick your effects. So let's pick, um, actually let's keep it on black and white, right? So let's say I can come in here and I can turn me black and white. But say I wanna keep my face color, right? So I'm gonna just do right there. And then come in here on the brush. And I want to reduce the size. You can turn edge aware on. Now one of the things, and again, this I'm still learning this one, is I'm trying to figure out if there's a way to increase and decrease the size on the fly, rather than having to go in like that. Now I'm rushing through this. If I was if I was really doing this, I'd be taking my time a little better than what I'm doing right now. And that's actually that's all reflection in there. Zoom out. And look at that. Well, there's a little bit of here and there that I'd want to go. So now I'm a colored colored face, but black and white. And you can do that with any of the effects here. So then let's turn my face and, oops. Yeah, comic. Why? No. So let's go, let's go, let's do this. Let's do sharpen. Oh, it won't let me do just individual areas. Oh yeah, it does. Okay, so now that I'm set up like that, sharpen, I don't wanna do, and then we can come in here. You can sharpen some more, see that? Boom, I'm getting really sharp. Sharpen my eye up. Maybe my nose. It's not shiny enough. Okay, so that's what the effects tool does. It allows you to brush your effects on. You have clone stamp and healing brush. I'm not going to talk about uh, the healing brush right now. The clone stamp's kind of nice. So say I wanted a second one of me. Let's pick right there. And now I'm just, you know, painting in a second one of me. Turn my brush size up. It'll make it go quicker. Because it's cloning. And there we go. Okay. So that's a clone tool. You have your eraser tool, of course. And then you have your dodge and burn tools. I'm sorry. These aren't dodge and burn. These are blur and smudge okay so that is essentially what this oh i don't want to save we'll go back in and you can see here where i've used it i played with a couple of different things this was a image that i did for the theater that i worked at i just kind of played with it and utilized text and added some uh, flare in there it was for from a theater show and i just used it you know, 
as kind of on our Facebook page. So this is what I use it for. I've also done in the past, don't save. I've done in the past where I take these images into one of my art apps then, right? So you can take, complete an image, take it into your art app, and then manipulate it even further by putting paint over top or or uh, doing any type of mixed media. And that can be a lot of fun. This is, I like this one. This is my son. Isn't he adorable? His hair's a little longer now, though. So this was after our first snow this year. All right, so that's what uh, Photoshop Touch does. I think it's a really nice program. It uh, again, it's more photo manipulation than it is art, but what it does with photo manipulation on an iPad is pretty spectacular. And it, you know, it's one of those things that you're not going to find a lot of companies creating this type and this strong of an app, especially from Adobe, who's been doing this for so long. Their ability to take what what is important and bring it into the iPad app is is simply wonderful or wonderful to me. All right. Well, that's it for this week. I hope you are in uh, enjoying the tutorials. If you haven't done so already, stop by www.thetheaterprofessor.com. Go ahead, give us a sign up in the bronze membership level, which is a free level, and uh, you will get all the behind the scenes tips, trips, tricks, and other postings that I do. Thank you so much for joining me. And as always, my name is Terry Dana Jakimiak II, and I am the theater professor.